So let's start the lab and uh, in fact, so I have here is a beaker with water with the dialysis bags in it. And what I want, I have a beaker of water that I'm gonna use for my experiments. I have a bottle of iodine um, and iodine has iodine plus potassium in it. So that's normal for iodine thickener. This is a glucose starch solution. So 15% glucose and 1% starch. And I have dye sticks in here. And what's nice about the dye sticks is it will tell me whether or not glucose is there. And based on the numbers, it tells me how much. For this particular lab, as I mentioned earlier, all I want to know is, is glucose present or not. So first thing I want to do is set up my dialysis bag. So if you can snap your fingers, that's going to be a good way of working with it because what you're trying to do is rub the ends of this apart. But before you do that, I'm going to tie a knot in one end. So when I tie the knot, I want to use my fingers to push the knot to the end as far as possible because I want to make sure I have as much glucose starch solution in the bag as possible. I pull gently on it to make sure I have a good tight seal on it. I don't want any leaks there. And then I rub the end to open the bag. So now I have my bag open. I will now fill the bag with my glucose starch solution. Make sure I'm ready with my dye sticks, have those out. Okay, make sure I have a good opening here. I'm gonna use my pipette to transfer the glucose starch solution into the Dallas's bag. Before I actually put the knot in the beaker, I'm going to take my dye stick and I'm going to place it into the bag. I don't want to do it in the bottle because I don't want to contaminate the bottle. Dip it in a little bit and place it here over the side. And I'm going to look for a change in color. So I don't care about the dye stick at the moment. I will come back to it. Now let's finish my knot. And now I'm going to use my clip to put the dialysis bag on the clip. The clip will allow me to immerse or place the bag into the water so that it doesn't touch anything but the water and the solution. Right now I'm going to put it on the side, not in the beaker, because I'm going to add some iodine to my beaker. The purpose of the iodine is if it binds to starch, it will turn a color. I'm going to use a glass eyedropper to transfer some iodine in there. And I want my water to be about a light tea color. So I'm going to just keep adding drops until I get to the color I desire. Okay, that's a pretty good color right there. Put my cap back on so I don't spill. And since I'm interested in glucose, starch, and iodine, I'm going to test the beaker now with my dye stick. And I see that on my left, I've got the dye stick. On the right, I got a fresh one. And I'm looking at the color change, and again, compared to this, I don't see too much of a change in the color. I look at what was in the bag, this nice dark brown color. So the bag has glucose present, the beaker does not. Now I'm going to place my bag into the beaker and then let it sit there. So it's going to sit there for, really I want to make it as long as possible, so I might try to just let it sit for about a good half hour and just let that run. And then I'll come back and look to see if I see any change. So again, inside of the bag is glucose and starch. Outside of the bag in the beaker is water and iodine solution. So that's potassium iodine. As I said earlier, the iodine potassium is an ion, so it's a single atom, and it's very small. Starch is made of 100 glucose molecules bond together, so starch is 100 times bigger than glucose. Glucose is smaller than starch, 
but iodine and potassium is much, much smaller. I'm going to have two more strips of my diet sticks left out so I can use those later. And I will return the other diet sticks to the bottle as I wait. Okay, half hour has passed, and now let's take a look at the results. First thing I want to do is take a fresh diet stick, and I want to test the beaker. Roll around, and as I look at the diet stick color, and I compare it to my results, I see that there's no change that occurred. So there's no glucose in the beaker. And I'm going to take my bag out and I see that the bag is a nice blue color and again if I get to this blue color light or dark the depth of the color or how dark it is tells me how much of each chemical is there but for this color to occur I have to have iodine and starch both in the bag I have starch in the bag and iodine in the bag now now I want to double check the glucose so I know no glucose came out. I'm gonna hold this over the beaker because I need to cut the bag carefully. Doesn't have any spill. I've already tested the beaker so I don't care about any errors on the beaker. And let me cut this a little bit deeper. And before this breaks, let's test the contents of the bag. Let's roll around. And when I look at the color, I see the color definitely did change. And I see if I look at the original bag and the original color, color is about the same, not quite as dark as the original. But that definitely is a positive. So the bag is still po testing positive for glucose. So in the beginning of this experiment, the beaker tested positive for iodine. The bag tested positive for glucose. The starch was in the bag. At the end of this, the bag tested positive for glucose still, but it also tested positive for iodine because of the blue color. And the beaker also tested positive for glucose at the end of this experiment. That is the end of the Dallas uh, Diffusion Lab.